Welcome back to What the Fermo. For our ten dollar question, we have Captain Jack in the hot seat. Captain Jack, what is the difference between the heat capacity at constant pressure and the heat capacity at constant volume? Arr! Correct. Now, for an extra two dollars fifty, would you like to explain yourself? I sure can. Okay, in any reversible process of thermodynamics, the internal energy, the change in heat, and the change in work are all related by this general equation. Now, in an isochoric step, the, deep, the change in heat is actually equal to the change in internal energy. Coincidentally as well, if we are dealing with an isobaric step, the change in heat is equal to the change of internal energy plus the change in the pressure and volume. And if you look very closely, this is actually the enthalpy. So the change in heat is equal to the change in enthalpy. Now, to work out the internal energy and the enthalpy, the changes of them, you need two things. The constant, the specific heat capacity at a constant pressure or the specific heat capacity at a constant volume. Now, this is where the fun part begins. If you take this equation right here and divide through the changes through with the change in temperature right here. This term here is equal to the change in the internal energy over here. And now here, it is RT over DT because due to the ideal gas law, PV is equivalent to the R times T. And you see, this term and this term, crossing out this, this, and this gives you the difference is R. Right, that's our budget, gotta go. Oh, what, 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 what's up, what? That's our budget.